Hey guys, Life here. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to open up everything that I got from the Morphe launch of the Shane Dawson Chef Jeffree Star collab. Um, so I showed you in the other videos the items that I got. So this is the big Morphe bag. Um, everything was really awesome to see in store. It was nice to see like the middle setup when you go in. Um, they had a really nice setup. They had a lot of stuff available for us, thankfully. Um, I don't know how many people got turned away. I have no idea, but... Very, very lucky to get this stuff and not have to order online because after getting home from the initial event, uh, we discovered that for just over three hours, all of the sites crashed. So people were able to still check out. Some people lost stuff in their carts. Some people didn't get anything at all. So Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star were very, very apologetic and they were doing everything they could to try to get Shopify up and running so that everybody could check out and get their items. So I don't think they anticipated how crazy it was going to be. I, however, know how amazing Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star are. So I did expect it to be overwhelmingly busy and crazy. So that is why I made the plan to drive to the Morphe store and actually go and get these items. There was no way I was actually going to sit at home and just try to order everything online and hope I got something. So this is a big deal for me. I think I cried on every episode of the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star series from Shane Dawson's channel. If you haven't checked out Shane Dawson, go check out his YouTube channel. He's amazing. Um, everything that I'm going to show you is not sponsored, not affiliated, purchased with my own money. Very, very exciting. I wish I had PR, but that doesn't happen. So <laughs> um, I'm nobody famous or big, but um, so let's get into it. So here is the pink mirror, the pink one. I couldn't decide between the two. I couldn't just pick one over the other. I really wanted both. So here is what it looks like in the box. Very, very awesome. And here it is. Ah! so excited it's big it's huge compared to Jeffree Star's other mirror um, at least I think so I'm gonna grab that after and compare the size but it is a beautiful mirror um, I actually love this it's really really nice and the fact that Shane Dawson loved pigs I expected none other so this is really really cool so that is the pink one let me go ahead and open up the black one and this is the front of it I showed you previously and here's how it looks in the box. And it's awesome. This, honestly, I think this symbolizes Shane never leaving the house, his, some of his depression and things like that. I don't know if that's why they made a black one, but I absolutely love it. Really, really cool. And I, like I said, I couldn't decide between the two. Um, so I'm going to go grab the other mirror and show you the size comparison from the two. All right, so I have one of Jeffree Star's um, hot pink chrome mirrors that I got with his very first launch of the chrome ones. So I'll show you guys the size comparison. Um, so the pig is a lot bigger. Uh, I, guess, I guess they're fairly the similar size. If the star had, I guess now that I'm looking at it, it's just because of the star shape itself. You have all the overlap or whatever, but very, very nice. Um, um, these mirrors are really durable. They're heavy. They're good quality. Very, very, very nice. So I'm really, really glad that I got the mirror. So also price difference. I believe these are $25 US. The pig mirror was $30 US. So there's a difference in price as well between the mirrors. So, um, but that that's something I really wanted. I wanted the pig mirror. So I'm glad I got it. Um, all right, so let's get into the mini conspiracy. This is the outside of it. Um, watching the video, I really loved the process of them showing us their ideas, what they wanted for palette and packaging and things like that. They almost had this as a pink outer cover as a TV and then that changed. Look at the reveal of this amazing product. I love the holographic color. Um, it's really, really awesome. And it's got the Shane Dawson logo here and um jeffree star and right here but it's just it's good heavy durable quality i absolutely love it has a mirror and here is the product so i will be swatching all of these at the end um so this is flat earth uh, cry on my couch my boyfriend's purse uh controversy diet root beer my apology this one's my favorite color it actually reminds me of dr pepper um exposed canceled and the simulation so these are the colors in the mini palette so i'll leave that out so that I, we can do the swatches 
Um, then here's the conspiracy, the big one. So really, really cool. Jeffree Star usually has his big palettes um, in some sort of cardboard um, as well. Shows the ingredients is on the back. Also has like the logos on the back and the Instagram, the Facebook details, the website for Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And then how this opens is it's not a box like the other one. This one slides out. And this is how it is. So here is the palette inside the box. I absolutely teared up immensely for this process, for how the palette ended up becoming this palette, how the packaging became this package. They almost had something totally different. And it is totally Jeffree Star fashion with the type of material for the outside. It looks very close to something like his coffin or his blood sugar palette. It's got these beautiful um, hardware pieces to flip open and um, very awesome, just like the other palettes. And then the logo in the middle for Shane Dawson. Super, super cool. The font is very similar to the font for the other palettes. And this was, this blew me away. The fact that um, it was created, they had to figure out what to do. Um, and they, it was Shane and just the fact that Shane and Andrew sat down and were trying to figure out what to do, how to make this happen because they weren't satisfied with what was being created so far. Like they didn't necessarily like the idea once it was created and they saw the, the actual, um, the, the, the model of it, I guess, before launch. So this is actually awesome. So let's go ahead and open this up. I know you guys have all seen this online. It's not new, but for those of you that don't know, it's got an awesome mirror. And then here are the shades and the colors. Very, very pretty. I love how it looks. I love the stamps that were selected for the shades. So um, you can see them all in here. We've got Ranch, My Pills, uh, we've got Tanacon, we have Diet Root Beer. This one here is Just a Theory and Spiraling. I think I'm going to cover up the, the mirror there. I'm just trying not to show you guys the mirror. Um, I don't know how to do this here. Here, we'll go like this. Uh, conspiracy. Um, uh, we've got pigment, uh, food videos, Trisha, cheese dust, and flaming hot. And then the bottom row is what's the tea, diet cola, not a fact, sleep paralysis, illuminati, and in right are my rides here. If I could read, it would be a lot easier. So I'll hold that up there for a second so you can see the shade names. Look at the detail to the actual colors. And I'll go ahead and grab this one as well again so you can see it also. And just show you the shade names again. And look at the colors, the stamps, the details. Now, a lot of people are not happy with the colors in this palette. I saw a lot of people like, oh, there's two blues, there's a purple. You know, there is transition colors. This is how I'm going to wear them. I'm going to have both palettes out when I'm creating an eye look, and I'm going to use both. Basically, they had leftover colors. They didn't know what to do with them. They didn't want to not include them. So they did a mini. So basically, I wasn't going to buy the one and not buy the other. You can use them for so many different things. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly take a picture of them opened up and my setup. And then I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you guys. Eager to see what the formula is like, if they are creamy, not creamy. I don't even want to mess up these little stamps, but I'm going to do it anyway. So i got to play with it. All right. So I just swatched them on my hand. Uh, they start up here. So this one here is Flat Earth. This one, it's a little hard to see. It's more on the creamy beige. It's a cry on my couch. This one is my boyfriend's purse. Controversy. This one down here is root, diet root beer. My apology is this one here. This one next is exposed, canceled, and the simulation. Yeah, the simulation. Um, they are... They're actually really creamy, surprisingly. Um, you can't even really tell that I swatched them too much, but uh, just a little bit. But they are really, really nice. Um, I am really looking forward to um, playing around with these and doing an eye look. Yeah, I love this one. I think my apology is probably my favorite shade on this palette. So let me go ahead and swatch the other one. 
All right, and I swatched down my arm for the other ones. I did it with uh, as lightly as I could where they show up. So this light one here is Ranch. This beige one here is my pills. Tanacon Diet Root Beer. This one here is Just a Theory. This one is Spiraling. This one is Conspiracy. Pigment. Food Videos. Trisha. Cheese Dust. Flaming Hot. What's the Tea? And Diet Cola down here. And then over here is um, Not a Fact. This one is Sleep Paralysis. This one is Illuminati and my rides here. Um, they're actually very, very nice to swatch. Um, I didn't have to push very, very hard at all. Um, for some reason, my Trisha one looks like it's not really well. Uh, it's like kind of on an angle in there. Like you can see it bent up a bit. So <laughs> it's up a little higher on the one side, but that's okay. It doesn't look like it's falling out or anything like that. But very, very nice. Um, I'm very excited to use these to do an eye look. So um, that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do an eye look um, and show you guys what I make with this. So stay tuned. All right, guys. I finished a Jeffree Star Shane Dawson eye look with uh, my palettes, um, the collab palettes, the mini controversy, and the conspiracy palette. So I tried making this video as I went and, you know, doing step by step, but I just couldn't get an eye look that I wanted as I did that. So I'm just going to show you a little close up. I'm going to post um, maybe a picture or two if it looks better off of the other lighting that I'm in. I'm in a different filming area today. So in the mini controversy palette, I will show you the ones that I used. Um, I did use here my boyfriend's purse. I also used this purple right here called Controversy. So I ended up using Controversy out of this palette. Um, so those are the two I used out of the mini. And then out of the big Conspiracy palette, um, I ended up using right here Ranch. I used Diet Cola. I used this one here, Not a Fact. Um, I also used Trisha. I used Just a Theory. And I used a little bit, oh, pigment, right here, this one, pigment. And then I also used my pills, and I didn't end up using a transition this time. So I made an eye look first, which I might show you what it looked like. I ended up using the dark green on the outside and the burgundy from the mini con controversy um, in this one, this one here, and it ended up not looking the way that I wanted. I had laid down a transitional shade first, Tanacon, and then I applied the green, the burgundy, and I didn't like how it was looking. It was kind of looking a little bit Christmassy, but not at the same time it wasn't. So I decided to use, so how many colors did I end up using there? I used two there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shades out of total. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight shades out of this look. I did pretty good. I'm also wearing the Ardell Magnetic Lashes um, right now as well, which I am in the process of reviewing. This is my second time using those. So I'll talk more about those in another video. But I threw on some lashes. I threw on some lipstick and foundation. Um, a little bit of like BB cream kind of thing. And I have my brows done. Um... I didn't know if I was going to like the look that I came up with, so I tried to go a little bit darker, and then I wanted to soften it up. So I did a lot of blending to lighten it up, and I used some of the lighter colors, like Just a Theory and Ranch, to kind of cool it down a little bit so it wasn't so pigmented. And then I used the Diet Cola on the inside, which is more like the silver. So because I'm not like going anywhere, I didn't throw any highlighter on or anything like that. I kind of have a bit of a glow from some of the glitter underneath that I had on earlier. Um, but I really like these palettes. They are Jeffree Star quality, like his palettes. They're not a Morphe um, configuration. I don't believe it's the Morphe formula at all. Um, this is a full-fledged Jeffree Star formula. Um, I absolutely love Jeffree Star's formula. This was so blendable, so easy to work with. Did I have fallout? Yes, I did. Um, the first look that I did where I used um, the dark green and the burgundy, I had a lot of fallout 
um, from the burgundy, but I didn't really tap my brush enough. So it's, it's the brush that I was using too that wasn't exactly the greatest. I did discover that this one here, my favorite color out of the whole palette is a little bit twisty. Like it come, look at that, it's moving. So it actually moves in the pan. So unfortunately, I think it's like not pinned down all the way. So, um, but that's the color there um, from the swatches. I do really like that color. It's one of my favorite colors. So I really want, will have to perfect some looks better. Um, for me, I'm still really new with makeup. Like when it comes to choosing a color and figuring out what I want to wear and how to put them together, I actually used my Jeffree Star um, concealer today. Uh, for more of an, a lighter look on the eyelid to make it stand out kind of like a halo um, This is C3 So I use this and put it on the lids to get more of a uh, I guess a little bit of a halo look I was trying to make it a little bit lighter so that the lighter colors would stand out just as much as the darker colors And that's kind of new for me too because I don't really use a lot of concealers on my eyelids to make things stand out I'm still new with that as well. Um, I'm not a makeup professional This is just me playing around with makeup because I love to play around with it because I'm not very artsy The one thing I do love doing is playing with makeup and figuring out different blends different brushes trying different looks um, today was trying different brushes. So I grabbed a whole bunch of brushes from BH Cosmetics to Luxie to Sigma to Morphe um, and just, just some no-name kind of ones I got off Amazon. I was trying to do some different blends. Oh, and uh, Farrah. I used a couple of Farrah brushes. So I was trying to figure out a blend. I was trying to figure out different formulas. Uh, like, not, sorry, not different formulas. I was trying to figure out the formula with different brushes. So I wanted to try something um, a little bit wilder by going up a little bit higher on my lid. Um, but I really like these palettes. I really do. Um, like I said, the swatches were amazing. Obviously, you can't tell a lot from a swatch because you're just putting it on your arm. I wasn't using any um, primer on my arm or anything, just flat out with my fingers. I also applied some with my fingers and I blended with brush as well. So um, I used Painterly Paint Pot on my eyelids to prime the eyes first and then use the Jeffree Star Concealer to um, do more of that uh, eyelid, on, right on top of the eyelids for the lighter colors to stand out. So overall, I'm very, very impressed. Do I recommend these? Absolutely. Um, Jawbreaker is one of my favorite palettes so far to date from Jeffree Star's all of his palettes. And um, I really like this. I know a lot of people aren't from comfortable with the color selection. But like I said, I'm going to be using both palettes together when I use them to make eye looks and blend things together. So I, I wanted to show you guys step-by-step -step process, but I'm still new with that kind of stuff. And it makes me nervous. I also feel weirder under pressure. Like I can't show you guys as great. Um, but I did get a chance to blend better off camera and play with it and take my time and just do a more um, blended eye look that I en enjoyed. So I also made some burgundies look more purpley and pink and whatever. And I got to play with a lot of colors. Eight colors is a lot for an eye look. So I really, really like this. Um, I hope you guys like it. I don't know. I mean, it's not like you have to wear it, but I hope you like how it turned out. And um, I hope that you guys will check out these palettes. So um, overall, I love the mirrors. They are super, super cute. And um, I did use this mirror the whole time I was doing my eye look. So, but I, I like it. And I'm going to keep playing with it. I'm going to keep making different eye looks with the different colors. I was originally going to try something with the yellows and the oranges and the reds. And then I decided, you know what? I'm going to play with that burgundy. And I'm going to try to manufacture with something with all these colors. So, I'm going to do a bunch more eye looks. I'll probably show them on my Instagrams. Um, so, stay tuned for those. Check out my Instagram links down below if you're not already um, subscribed to my Instagram channel. But make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. Um, I highly recommend these. I know it's a little bit out of some people's comfort zone for blues and things like that. I am going to be doing a blue eye look palette. Um, blue eye look with the blue blood palette. So I didn't want to jump into the blues on this one just yet because I still have a look to do with that one. But um, yeah, I'm really happy. I love conspiracy. I love mini controversy. Um, yeah, I'm just really happy I got them. I hope you guys 
like these as well if you have them. If you don't have them and you didn't get a part of the stock um, that came this time, I know they will be relaunching them again. And it's just a matter of being patient. I know it really sucks, but I didn't want to wait. That's why I went and got them at the Morphe store. Got in line and did that. So, um, guys, I really hope you guys um, check out Shane Dawson on YouTube and watch his videos for the process leading up to this. They are posting more videos as well. Again, not sponsored, not affiliated, nothing like that. Purchase with my own money. I'm just a huge Shane Dawson and huge Jeffree Star fan. So this was really, really fun to get their palettes and do an eye look. So thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys on the next live stream or video. Thank you to everyone who's been watching. Um, I myself have been watching a lot of these videos all over YouTube, getting inspiration for other eye looks and seeing what other people are creating. So I will see you guys later. Bye.